Yo, Joe, what time is it? Well, I think it's time for another video. That's what I like to say. Another day, another video. <laughs> I should probably have work shoes, but I'm choosing to wear just tennis shoes. And I wanted to show you something. Look at I probably untied these shoes. Look at these shoes, by the way. I need to get some new ones, don't I? I thought, well, I'll get some one of these days, and I just haven't done it yet. I probably untied this shoelace maybe, maybe twice, two or three times over the years, and that's it, because I tied it just right, and I used my long uh, shoe horn, and I happened to get this at Ikea for a buck. And I just, it's that simple to put my shoes on in the mornings. I do that with all of my shoes, and I've tied them just right to where at the end of the day I can pull them out. And then the next morning, I just get them, and if the, the tongue's down or something, I just raise that up. Put my shoe in, my foot in, voila. It's that simple. I use that all the time. I hate untying my shoes. For one, I've got to reach down there and tie them. For another, these shoelaces would have broken years ago had I been untying them every day. And plus, they stay not, they stay fairly clean and everything because I never untie them. <laughs> I think this short video is just going to be about stuff that I that I do starting starting the morning for for my projects and I just happen to have a, a belt and see it comes it comes with this little lumbar support or whatever you call it right there in the middle it's plenty, it's plenty wide. I mean, there's different ones you can get. And I'll put that, I'll put that on. I can stretch it. There's one. Lots of them only have one go. Well, this one, now I can pull this one over and this one over. And I'll, and I'll wear those underneath my shirt lots of times, even when I, when I'm not working, you know, in case my back feels sore or anything like that. And usually when I when I pull it down, I don't have enough room sometimes to get my phone in, my car keys or whatever. So I just take that, set it right like that. Or if I need the flashlight at night, like I was crawling around underneath the the house the other day, I thought I'll just take my phone out and I put the I put the uh, the light on and I just put it and held it right like that and then I tuck my <laughs> I tuck my shirt in like that and away I went I could see everywhere I didn't have to hold a flashlight in my hands or anything like that and then and then usually I'll, I'll wear some sort of knee brace I, I messed up my knee quite a few years ago and this is just a reminder that is there. It's kind of like somebody's holding my knee like that with both of their hands and it, it keeps me from twisting around just wrong and stuff. And, and my belt on here reminds me to lift with my legs, not my back. And I'm ready to start working, but I've got my, I've got my uh, little, my little uh, respirator. Okay, and they got they got four or five different types of these. I just chose to use this one. Now, I used it yesterday, and I could probably use it in a pinch one more day, and then I'll, after that I'll probably use a, a new one. And I've got my my clear glasses, my safety glasses. Okay, these are ten years old, and after a while, if you don't protect them, they'll get all kinds of hairline scratches on them and stuff. And you're like, I can't really see through these and they're not very clear even when you wipe them off but these look like they're almost brand new because I keep them in a carrying case and 
I keep these in a carrying case when I'm not using them. That way they stay nice and clean. And I can tell there's, there's a couple marks on there, but not too bad for being at least 10 years old. And I've got, I've got my toilet paper here. Lots of times when I work, as I'm bending down and stuff, I'll get a, I'll get a runny nose. So I'm ready today for that. And I've got my, my water. Okay. Always got to be ready and hydrate yourself during the day, especially when it's hot outside and stuff. And today is no different than most summer days. It's going to be hot down in that pit. Okay. And today I actually brought a couple different hats. And I use, I wear baseball hats a lot of time, times. That'll keep the sun out of my face. It doesn't really protect my sides and stuff, but Momi had a hat in the garage. We use it for gardening and stuff. She got a Grand Teton National Park. And it's a floppy hat and it also has little air vents on both sides and it's very lightweight and I might even wear that and it protects all the way around it's got this little deal here but you know I, I'm not gonna do <laughs> I'm not gonna use that probably and so am I gonna just leave it hang well I can put it I can put it in the back or I can put it inside the inside the hat or something I mean, if you get really hot too, these are meant, it's nylon. This is a light nylon right here. And this, this is kind of a nylon. It's got, it's a little bit softer, but I could, I could wet this underneath the sink and, and squeeze, squeeze it out and then put it back on. You know, I could do something like that to keep myself nice and cool up here and to protect me from the, sh from the sun, okay? I've got my, my knee pad in case I need that. And this one's vinyl covered. And I've had this for about 10 years. Can, does it tell? Can you tell? I don't even know if I can find these anymore. In fact, this one, this one came from Walmart. It says the Arden Garden. I might be able to look that up on the internet, the Arden Garden, and it has this nice little handle I've used this forever. I like I like these rather than the foam ones because if I had a foam one, that thing would have been toast years ago. The thing would have broken and when you push down on it, after a while it feels like, hey, do I even have anything underneath my knees? That's because it compresses all the way. This kind of, this still compresses to a certain extent, but the vinyl protects the foam rubber deal in the, in the inside and you can get it wet and I wiped it. I would wipe it down, but see, <laughs> see how bad it looks now? You know, it's still together. It still hasn't broken. And so I keep using it every once in a while, a little bit of blue falls off and I got to keep picking that up. In fact, see, there's a little piece right there. It just falls off. And one of these days I'm going to have to look for this. I don't, I went to Walmart again and, and I couldn't find them. I, I looked through some other stores, couldn't find anything like this. Okay. So uh, maybe, maybe I'll have to find it on the internet and order one over the, over the internet or something. And I've got something else from Ikea that I got that's going to help me with all of my trash. And I'm not going to show it to you right this minute. And it's something I just thought about. And that's going to help me transport this, this stuff right here. And I don't have that much stuff, but... It'll help me transport this stuff, and I've got I've got these two by sixes that I'm gonna have to cut. In fact, I got all the all the two by sixes that I pulled down, and here's some more stuff here. And I'm gonna end up having to cut some more stuff over there and over there. There's still some more things I'm gonna have to do, but I'm gonna show you about that later. Now, are all little respirators the same? Little dust mask? No. This one's nice and thick. And I like this. And it also had this. So that when I put it on, I still could put my 
goggles on and the goggles wouldn't fog up because usually as you're breathing the air comes right up through here and and fog up your goggles I kind of liked that plus it had two two rubber bands on here some the really cheap ones only have one and they're very very thin this one's thick I've used it all day I feel pretty good and they even have some that have a little round thing here uh, same type of mask like that okay so not all masks are created equal look for the good ones at the store one last thing have some consideration as to where you're going if you're going back inside the house and and traipsing around in there make sure you take your shoes off and stuff i've been working in in fungus stuff and mold and mildew and all that kind of stuff so before i go in i'm going to take my shoes off over there and i'll probably leave them out here because i'll be back here tomorrow that's all i got for this time but i'll be back with more videos